someone explain this to me, okay? Um, I have not watched Turner Classic movies since Ted Turner owned the company. So I have my view on the Turner Classic movies is like from 20 years ago. I have no idea what modern Turner Classic movies is today. So what what exactly has happened in the last 24 hours that everyone in, in cinema Twitter is talking talking about there? Do you want to take this one, Rick? Because I, again, I I like Turner Classic Movies just as a resource. I think it's a great resource and educational tool, um, you know, in terms of how they classify film and and kind of introduce them. Um, But Rick Rick knows more about it than I do, honestly. I I can tell you what I know. Um, What's his name? David Zasloff, the, the, the genius behind The Flash and the DCEU. He has terminated or pushed out a good number of long standing TCM heads like the like director of programming I think and then the person who organized the the film festival and reduced the work staff from 90 to 20 and the lot the fear that a lot of people uh, the TCM or the TCM fans is that they're basically going to shut down the network pretty soon or they're going to do things like add commercials during the movies or between the movies, like the thing that they were fighting against, it's going to, they're going to turn it. They they're fearing that there's going to turn into an AMC. Remember AMC used to stand for American movie classics, which used to be something like Turner classic movies. Their concern is that it's going to uh, kind of fall apart or just be erased altogether. That's just going to get pulled from the network because apparently it is still profitable, but they're using that money to buck up, the projects that they've been losing money on like i don't know the flash so that that's the concern and uh, i think a lot of times tcm post robert osborne has adopted a mankowitz young turks worldview uh, i like professor stewart she introduces the silent movies but she can but she calls herself an activist as well as a film historian <laughs> Um, they had that whole TCM reframed series where we looked at films through contemporary lenses and believe me, it it takes a great deal of skill to try to find the problematic aspects of seven brides for seven brothers. Somehow that's on the same level as birth of a nation because poor Dave. I mean, I like Dave Carter. He's one of the other hosts and he, and he actually thought that. I think he said that he thought if little boys, millions of little boys would watch Seven Brides for Seven Brothers and abduct women or think that it, that they that they should abduct women and hold them prisoner until in Stockholm Syndrome, they fell in love with him. First, I wonder, where are these millions of little boys who would want to watch Seven Brides for Seven Brothers? <laughs> and again, this is going to be a little stereotype. I don't think that the little boys who would want to watch Seven Brides for Seven Brothers would necessarily be trying to kidnap women. Because i that's the first time I ever saw Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. And, and I thought... Rick, well, I, just, yes. I do want to say something real quick. Wow, that, like, can you give me the, the too long, didn't read version of what Rick just said? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I, look, look, I think TCM does a great job of those, in, of those intros to movies. They really, they really, you know, nail home the points of why a movie is important, why it yeah. deserves to be seen, why it's been um, preserved all these years later. I think they do a great job of that stuff. They should stay in their lane of preserving movies and not get political and not. I mean, if they want to discuss a political topic around a movie, I, I don't have any problem with that to put in context what was going on at the time. That's that's perfectly fine. That's that's historical, you know, journalism per se. But what they've they've started to get out of that lane and and like with the reframe series blazing, you know, putting an introduction to blazing saddles, it's completely unnecessary. It's a satire that makes fun of racism, that that basically points how ridiculous racism is. It's a wonderful film. It's a wonderful comedy. They don't, you don't need to explain it. People are not stupid. So this is the first uh, this is the first cut or potential cut that David Zaslav has done that I have personally been pretty, pretty, uh, I don't want to say upset, but, you know, I'm not happy about it. You know, I love TCM. I love the content that they produce. But um, 
and and I certainly believe they have a they have a place uh, on the Max platform, and you know, with Warner Brothers as a company, but. 